So, uh, there's a, a demo uh, for the game Splatoon. It's uh, coming out, I think, May 29th, right? Which is really soon. Yeah. And uh, the way the demo worked was it was to test the online functionality. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, so it had certain times you could play. You could play it for an hour last night. Mm -hmm. And you could play it at two separate times today. It's a, it's very strange. It's a timed demo. Yeah. You can only play it at certain times. Yeah. So anyway, I played it at 12 a.m. last night. And, uh... It was okay, I guess. Sorry, yeah. It didn't, uh... I didn't hate it. Uh... See, I, I thought it was, um... Like, like any multiplayer, uh, Nintendo game, you... Anything you name, it'll uh, have. It'll be really fun at the base, and then it'll just have a la layers of mechanics that are disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everything. Like there's the base gameplay, really fun, really balanced, and really original, and then um, everything above that is just broken. Yeah. Uh, you see, you uh, you pick your weapon when you start. And for this particular demo, there was only four weapons, but I don't know why that's going to be in the, in the, the, the full game. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be more. Uh, and you can't switch your weapon mid-match, right? So yeah. you can only carry the one. So you only have two modes of attack, essentially. Yeah. You have a throwable grenade type item, and you're gone. Plus, if you have... Plus, if you, uh, if you happen to start a match, and uh, all of your players... Which there are only four. All have uh, like the the uh, paint roller or the sniper rifle or whatever. Then you're you're just gonna have to deal with the clusterfuck that they they give you. Yeah, it's uh... and because you can't change you can't change between spawns either. Yeah, yeah. So it's just. Uh, I really think that it's overall the game seems to me so far is lacking depth. It looks a little shallow. You need to be able to switch your weapons on the fly, and you can't. Uh, there's no voice chat. Yeah. There's no custom matchmaking, which is a big problem. Mm. We know now that it's not going to have that stuff, the full game. Yeah, I guess so. The full game is not going to have that stuff on release. The way these things are these days, you don't know. A month down the road, it yeah. might get these things, but the full release now does not have voice chat, custom mm. matchmaking, or... Uh, couch split screen multiplayer. Yeah. Um, and that's really disappointing. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is the week where I learned that I should probably talk stop talking altogether. Why? Because first I said that um, uh, Black Mesa uh, Source would probably be uh, better if it was a, a paid mod, uh... and then they put it on Steam for. Twenty, twenty dollars to what? Thirty, twenty-five, I think, something like that. And um, also, I said last time that uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto Five came uh, on PC and nothing went wrong. Then immediately something went wrong. Yeah. Did you hear of that? Yeah. People who were using uh, uh, innocent, innocuous, non competitive advantageous mods like your field of view mm -hmm. uh, mods for that type of stuff for uh, GTA 5 and PC were getting banned mm -hmm. <laughs> well see the issue was um, normally I'd be okay with banning people for using mods online but the issue was people were using field of view mods and stuff like that Yeah. Uh, like gameplay mods that only work on single player and then they since they forgot to turn them off when they went on uh, online, yeah. um, they were getting banned because the mod was still installed on their system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But even though it didn't affect multiplayer, yeah, yeah, that's not fair. That's what I mean. Uh, and they're not they're not doing anything to help those people either. Hey, if you make a PC release, it should have field of view option. It does, but it only goes up to like 
No, nothing. It goes yeah. up to barely above console. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm playing uh, Dead Space 2 right now on the PC, mm -hmm. and it's just a console game. Yeah. Like, there's no... Like, mm -hmm. it has menus where you think you should be able to navigate the menu with your mouse, <laughs> but you can't. You have to navigate the menu with W, A, S, and D, yeah. and it's so strange. And E is select and F is back when you're going through the, <laughs> the menu, and it's so strange. Uh... There's no options. It's like bloom, yes or no. Yeah, yeah. Depth of field, <laughs> yes or no. And it's just like mm. anti-aliasing in general, yes or no. Yeah. There's no, uh, you can't select your type of anti-aliasing. It's, uh, yeah, man. It doesn't have, when, I don't um, know what was going when, on. When Microsoft started trying to merge their uh, uh, Xbox and uh, PC markets to, like, uh, make it easier to port Xbox games to the PC. Yeah. They, um, game, all games are like that. They just, uh, I know, they uh, were the simplest possible ports. I know publishers pressure reviewers into, uh, console parody. Mm -hmm. Like a P-A-R-I-T-Y, not funny parody. <laughs> uh, so they won't mention the fact that you don't have PC features in a PC game. Yeah. Like, uh, most reviewers are not allowed to mention the fact that the PC version has a higher frame rate. So, even though it's objectively better, it gets the same score. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, well, parody. It, uh, and, and what that causes, mm -hmm. it seems like it wouldn't cause these problems to creep up in a PC game, but it does, because now you have developers just not doing it. <laughs> so now you have PC games that or a port of the console game that is a port of the PC development kit for mm -hmm. the game. So you get like a three-way port on the PC that's really just a PC game that has been tied down and left tied down yeah. instead of fixed. <laughs> when it, it was probably more work to do it than it was to leave it. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, you develop a game on a PC and then you work on optimizing it to get it to run on a console... And then when you have to play it on PC, for some reason you don't... For some reason you leave it the way it was. Mm -hmm. Instead of how like how you already had it running. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's what's so strange about it. Mm -hmm. And it's getting worse and worse. But, I mean, look at Witcher 3. Like, I was looking at screenshots for that and it just... I don't know. It just looks... It looks like the Wind Waker. Like The Witcher Two looks like uh, looks like Crisis, and The Witcher Three looks like The Wind Waker. Hey, hmm. they both look really good, but it looks to me in my mind that Witcher Three does not look like the logical progression hmm. from The Witcher Two. Did you see it? I I haven't looked that closely. I saw. I mean, the textures are just not as good. Yeah. They're just not as detailed. It's just like. I looked at small screenshots where, you, like, I re really couldn't see any f fine details. I never bothered to look any uh, closer than that. Simultaneously for consoles, right? Yeah. That being said, The Witcher 2 is one of the best-looking games that came out. Really? Yeah. yeah so it, it might really be is. a little bit unfair mm -hmm. to say, but I'm not going to buy it because I didn't finish Witcher 2 yet. Yeah. And uh, I want to finish Witcher 2 soon, so... Well, Witcher 2 is insanely long, so... Uh, I heard that. It was, it was deterring. Also, while I was, while I was playing it, there were some textures that I noticed were almost too good. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're, they're too detailed. It's kind of <laughs> gross-looking, actually. Um, I think uh, once Witcher 3 comes out on PC, there's probably going to be uh, high-resolution texture mods. And I hope they don't cost money, and I hope you don't get banned for using them, even though it's single-player. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, man, it's 2015, single-player game. You use a mod, maybe the game can delete itself. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're at that point It'll where... It'll remove itself from the store. Well, people were people that complained about Dragon Age 2 got banned from the game, even though it was single-player. Remember <laughs> yeah. that? That was way yeah, back in yeah. 2010 or something like that, when Dragon Age 2 came out. People were going on to the Dragon Age website, website complaining about the game, and then mods could ban their account that was attached to their to their online account that let Dragon Age 2 run, even though it's single player. So people were getting banned from playing the single player game because they complained about it. Oh, God. <laughs> Talk about entering into a contractual agreement when you buy the game. <laughs> Talk about buying a service 
as opposed to buying a product. Yeah. Oh my More god. More like a deal with the devil. Yeah, like, hey, you put that game in your console, you don't own it, we own it, and you're just, it's a con, it's, you're signing a contract that you're going to play it. I got the Dead Space 2 on Steam, and it was, it's an official release with a Steam code, and I had to make an Origin account to play it. I tried that, uh, you can just press, uh, or like, I fiddle around with that a bit. <laughs> I had, you had to fight with it to get it not Yeah, to. yeah, uh, but... No, no, it's it's not that. I, I had to fight to get it to work, but um, instead I just pressed cancel and it let me in anyway. <laughs> I had to make an Origin account. I made the account and that's it. Oh, I'm yeah. never going to it. Yeah, I'm never yeah. going to use it. Mm -hmm. But it's a Steam game. Why do I have to make an Origin account to play? EA? It's retarded. Mm -hmm. It's an electronic art. You don't oh, understand. Fuck that. I don't understand art. Let's look at Destructoid. Destructoid.com. What the fuck's that first one? Go back up. What? Okay, yeah. Oh, Mark. I'm done with Amiibos. You didn't buy one. No. <laughs> if there was a good Amiibo that you wanted, and it was there, you'd buy it. <laughs> but it's not going to be there, so you won't. Well, yeah, that's why I'm done. <laughs> I'm done waiting. That's uh, the thing. I still got... The only meat I got is my Samus, and that's it. Do you remember, before The Witcher 3 came was coming out, like, uh, probably about a year ago, when they said all the future DLC for The Witcher 3 would be free? Do you remember that? Uh, they probably said something like that. They did. They said a lot of things. They did, and it's guys. not true. <laughs> they kind of shot true. themselves in the foot. It, uh, it is not true. It is all. It's it's getting DLC up the ass. I browse a lot of video game news websites, right? Mm -hmm. And they all have ads for different games. I swear to God, there was a few times where I saw an ad for the DLC for a game before the game was really announced. Like, uh, I think Batman: Arkham Origins had its DLC announced before the game. Like, there was a few ads of its DLC yeah. before it was announced. And oh. Some, <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay, There yeah. was a few times where I saw, and, and it happened before, where I saw an ad, and then I found out the game was coming out, and it was for the DLC. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, so uh, Koji Igarashi, uh, I guess, is working on a new Castlevania game. There's a, uh, a uh, teaser website for it. Mm -hmm. uh, called like sword or whip dot com or something. Uh, anyway, uh, it just has a cartoon image of Koji Igarashi, who was the de developer of previous Castlevania games, mm -hmm. uh, standing on like a on a seat and uh, appearing as though he was Dracula, and uh, giving you uh, little tidbits of information about what might be an upcoming Castlevania game. I or have this. Not. I have this strange feeling. Mm -hmm. That it's going to be a Kickstarter thing, Ooh. and it's gonna suck dick, and it's gonna have it's gonna be we're good. We need fifty thousand dollars, guys, and he'll get eighty million dollars, <laughs> and he'll have to tack on uh, seventy nine million uh, nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of of shit onto a fifty thousand dollar game. Yeah, <laughs> and it'll be. A short ass 2D sprite based platformer, but it'll take nine years to come out, and it's gonna be on every platform, and it's gonna have so much DLC. I I hope it's not a Kickstarter, but it for all I know, because of what what's going on with Konami, it might not even be called Castlevania. Yeah. <laughs> might be some fake Castlevania game, and it'll be some Kickstarter thing, and it's it'll suck and like I said, uh, if they really want to play it safe, just remake uh, Dracula X and don't tell anybody. <laughs> just pretend it's not Dracula X. Just change all the characters. Uh, yeah, that's that. There, it's a it's a good Castlevania game. There you go. All it needs to be is good at this point because yeah. we had uh, Lords of Shadow one, which was a, a very good facsimile of a God of War game. <laughs> and then we had Lords of Shadow 2, which I guess was so strange and shitty that no one liked it at all. 
And then we had a really, really, really bad 3DS game. It was a 2.5D God of War game. Right, right. On the 3DS, where yeah. where the main character would would uh, throw his whip, and it would go all the way across the screen. Mm-hmm. And the HUD was gigantic, and it was just so ugly, and it was shit. And I don't ever want to see a Castlevania game like that anymore. Uh, Castlevania Mirror of Fate. Mm-hmm. It was completely stupid. This is Macho Man. Because that's a world, which I don't know what that means. Uh, Tactical Man, because that's a world. Yeah. Uh, anyone expecting a game about a Taco Man? I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, What's man. this game about? It's... It's a play on words, uh, well, not really, it's just a mix, uh, between this, um, this shitty Toho meme character, uh, named, named Taco Rin or something, and, uh, Mega Man. Um, it's supposed to be like Mega Man, but it ends up playing more like, uh, Subspace Emissary, <laughs> with better controls. Oh, uh, okay. Because you got, you got all these, uh, like melee moves and uh, no good uh, ranged attacks, so it just ends up being a beat 'em up. What's up with the music? It doesn't sound very fitting. Yeah, it sounds it, like I'm supposed to be in a castle. It's it's too epic, too. <laughs> like yeah, that. That's. It doesn't seem to be like. A, like it a, has weirdly like it. it it's representative, I'd say, of what of everything that's wrong with the Dojin industry. It's just a game about memes. Yeah, I know. And these stupid I've noticed stupid that characters. about uh, Dojin games or mm-hmm. well it just seems like a, it's all in jokes. Yeah. It's like a Quentin Tarantino like, film. I don't know I don't even know what this is supposed to be. it's a squid with a dress. And but it's so it's so well produced, and it's it's got the like near orchestral sounding music for some reason. To provide some context, I guess uh, on Two Chan there was this thing, um, you know how people make ASCII art on Two Chan, right? Mm-hmm. Two Channel, rather. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they yeah. Uh, they some guy tried to make a. Raymu and Marissa's heads from Toho, Toho, like the main characters, and uh, yeah, and he ended up with uh, the the more cartoonified version. Yeah, it just um, he screwed up and he made these uh, retarded looking blobs. Yeah, and they thought, hey, this is pretty funny. Let's do it for ten years. Yeah, <laughs> let's just build on it for ten years. It's like it's like Bane. I noticed that. Like it's never the, uh, going to end. About the art, because I play like some of these really early ones before, mm-hmm. just to to try try it. Yeah. And they look so different. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> oh, nothing happened. They still look like that. Like the so, the main series, the main line uh, Toho games. Are, like, yeah. Uh, see, that's what's confusing about it. Yeah. Why? Why do we? Why is there main? Why do you need to say that main line? And then there's like <laughs> because other this, fake games. Like this what? is a fan game. I know, yeah, but I mean, yeah. there's so many of them that. Uh, yeah, it's. It really... makes you wonder where the fan game stops and where uh-huh. it's part of the pantheon of games. It's. See, um. Is there a canon? Is there a? <laughs> well, see, it's um. I guess you could say the creator just likes people doing whatever they want with his properties. So uh, it ends up being like a collaborative effort called Toho Project. Everything is something project. This, yeah, well... <laughs> or it wouldn't be Japanese. It's a bunch of games. You, you don't really treat it like a series. You treat it like a... Maybe a... A label of quality. <laughs> A brand. Yeah, because cause some, some of the fan games are really good, like this one, and uh, I guess... I know there's fighting games and RPGs, isn't there? Uh, there's... Yeah, the fighting games are semi-official. Okay. Like, they, uh... 
like Zoom works on them. Uh, he creates the characters and stuff, but um, another company uh, like makes the actual games themselves. Is there any men in Toho? One. Oh. Well, I like think there's a there's a Cloud Man. Oh, okay. And there's a uh, there's a man who doesn't appear in any games. See, there's also there's also print works to make it even more confusing. There's like uh, Why there's a few bother? comments, what? comics, and <laughs> why? Why would you read those if it's just I... if the canon is so all over the place? It, well, it's not really. I can't it's just... imagine there being like a plot. Like, what? Well, you okay? Um, I guess if you you ask me to sum it up, I'd say. Think of any fandom uh, you can you can think of, like uh, Sonic or, or Ponies or anything like that, and take out the original thing. Like take out the thing that's based on, uh -huh. uh, and you just have the fandom. That's total. Okay. Like it's it's just a bunch of shit. But there are a, like there are Toho games, like the 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 main games like the shooters. Yeah, what are and, we up to now? Like fourteen? Yeah, there there are fifteen of them, oh, and a uh, few 15. a few shooter spinoffs uh, made by Zoom himself, and then there's um. What's the newest one? Double dealing character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty odd name, but um. Well, they all kind of sound odd. Yeah. Like perfect cherry blossom. Uh huh. Uh. They're all sort of um, they're spoilers uh, for the like their crypt. They're meant to be cryptic spoilers, like they spoil uh, the villain of the game. Let's just say everything is um, a reference to Japanese mythology, and they, like, just try to cram as much as they can into uh, into the series. That's the main goal. So is there... But not uh... here. Not here. This is nothing. Is there? Uh, do you have to uh, bribe a kappa with a cucumber to let him cross? Oh yeah. To, so you can cross a lake. There, there's the kappa <laughs> that likes cucumbers. Yeah. Oh yeah, good. You gotta have it. And uh, yeah, and she hates humans. And is there a a woman that oh, rides here's around? Oh, here's a, an uh, enemy that didn't draw in. Is is there a woman, a goddess that rides around in a egg shaped UFO that comes out of the ocean and teaches people to eat wasabi? <laughs> Not yet. There will it's be. It's going to be there, because that's yeah. a, the legend of Wasabi, apparently, <laughs> is that uh, that a UFO landed in the water in ancient Japan, and there was a woman in it, mm -hmm. and she taught people that they should eat Wasabi, like it was a good idea to eat Wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For some reason, if you look that, at it. So they're using mythology to uh, advertise Wasabi? Well, I don't know, that's, or so the legend goes, oh. as it were. Oh, is yeah. Was, like... That's what happened, and I mean they have ancient Japanese drawings of this UFO or USO, I guess. Yeah. Unidentified submerged object, <laughs> and it was just a woman inside. Oh yeah. She was like, wasabi is like really good for your soul well, or something. You should eat it. <laughs> Taught people how to eat it. Mm hmm. Yeah, it, really, in a way. Uh... Japan has been obsessed with cute girls uh, since the beginning. When you think about it, it's like the, you got um, a Princess Kaguya, yeah. which is also in Toho, just pretty much ported, the the like the character name Kaguya, and um, and like princess the, hairstyle is very important. Princess the X. hairstyle is called a yeah a princess hair. <laughs> <laughs> princess X and Princess Y and. And queen something. And the goddess of whatever. Is there Onis? Oh yeah, there's Is there Onis. Genma? Oh yeah. Do you pronounce it Genma or there's, Genma? There's gotta be Onis. There's a moon rabbit. Oh. They live on the moon. It's very important. Uh, Fifteen is apparently going to be about moon rabbits. Uh, there's some way to... There are ways to maximize damage. Oh, for God's sake. Here, this is what I was afraid of. I can't make it past the tutorial level.
Who started air dashing? Why is it so important now? Um, how do you do it? Is it like say, it's like double jumping? How they say it? that's how you define uh, whether or not something's a, a an anime uh, fighter. Because there are fighters that use an anime style, but it isn't an anime fighter until it has an air dodge. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Melee has it. Yeah. See, I haven't shot once in this entire playthrough, so uh, that shows how useful it is. It's mostly used for um, adding on damage. Ugh. Yeah. What happened to that person? Uh, she's one of the player characters. It's like a... She doesn't look like she belongs in this world. <laughs> yeah. She looks like, uh... She looks like a character portrait that got turned into an enemy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I... Man, got some oh my god, that stuff. looks exactly like DMC. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's exactly like the Devil May Doesn't Cry. Oh. Yeah, the, the lettering. Like, just the way you get it, like that. Okay, we got the bosses. Um... They're all the same color. Yeah. They're actually like, uh, uh, this one's based on, uh, racing the moon rabbit. This one's based on racing. This one's based on Iku. Um, and I think this one is too. This one's also a squid, as is this one. Um, I don't know what they were thinking. None of the jokes make any sense. This one's like a, uh, a Tengu crossed with a, uh, Magnemite? Magnemite? I forget what's, uh, that Pokemon, uh... You mean the boss? Yeah. Okay. So, this boss is like a metal, uh, bird person? Uh, Am I right? no. It's just a head. But it's, um... Well, how's it a Tengu? Well, Does it have a beak? No, it's based on the character. Okay. Based on the Tengu. But... It, she, like, runs a power plant, but it doesn't make sense to use that character because there's already a character that runs a power plant. So... I guess that's the joke. How is... Is it a Tengu? Or is it called Tengu? It's... It's a Tengu. Okay. I don't know their obsession with racing either. They're like, they got like 14 enemies based on her. Even though she's garbage. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's a Santa, uh, Cylinder Man. I That's... noticed that uh, the Japanese people, for some reason, seem to really take to Santa. They like they like <laughs> Christmas the, a lot. Yeah, it's the only thing. Chris, <laughs> it's the only thing Christmas brings them that they can relate to. Because... Yeah, why? Like uh. They hate everything else Western except for like uh, Christmas and hamburgers. Except for the food, like uh, ironically being cowboys. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Santa. <laughs> it's just, it seems strange. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's funny because Yuyuko uh, copies people's abilities. Mm. That isn't a, that isn't actually true. Mm, okay. Might as well be. Yeah. Who cares? Oh, here's um. Magnemite or whatever. It looks like Legion. Oh shit, damn it. <laughs> or, uh, Literally, but... magna or You know the one where there's three of them? Uh-huh. That evolution? It, it's, like, it's like they weren't paying enough attention when they were designing these characters. It's like, yeah, we have, we have 40 enemies that are based on this one character. Maybe we should uh, even it out a bit. Nah. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, another this is that boss. boss. This is a uh, forget what it's called. I used to know its exact name. It's the first boss of Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. That shell. You fight in uh, the caves at uh, Narsh. Yeah. If it had more jokes like that, it'd be a little funny. But with uh, you with uh, Terra when she was mind controlled. Yeah. In the Magitek armor. Is that a ditto? That's the uh, this is the final boss from Perfect Cherry Blossom. Oh, that's the Perfect Cherry Blossom. Yeah. Oh wow. Actually, it was something to do with her, like, trying to, uh, resurrect herself because she thought she was buried under a tree and some asshole convinced her that that was going to work, but it was actually an evil tree. 
That was the perfect cherry blossom. Why is there evil trees all the time? That's another thing I noticed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The <laughs> why are trees oh, always damn evil? X death was a treat. <laughs> I'm waiting for some. Uh, I'm waiting for some North mythology uh, tell all games. What? <laughs> Like with the world tree and stuff like that. Yggdrasil? Yggdrasil, yeah. Yeah. They're gonna do it. Thanks, once, SMT. Once he runs out <laughs> of ideas, he's gonna do it. I'd say you, you cut your teeth on learning uh, foreign mythology just on SMT. Yeah. Sort of got all this crap. <laughs> and sometimes it's even things that are recent, like the Mad Gasser. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, someone from a uh, plague era Europe mm -hmm. that they thought they saw in the uh, crops would uh, some man would come out at night would look like he had a gas mask and they thought he was spreading the plague <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the mad gasser uh -huh. uh, spring heel jack uh, <laughs> you you often see uh, the flat woods monster in uh what game was he in was he in uh darius um oh yeah he was in uh he was in darius he was in like oh shit uh what was it? That that uh, on rails over the shoulder shooting thing. What was it called? You know the arcade game. Well, there's lots of games. Sega. Like Sega. It was. Uh, it's on. It's on rails and it's over the shoulder. No, it's not, like it's. It's like uh, Star Fox, that kind of thing. Afterburner. No, it was the one. The other one. Uh, Similar to Afterburn. Uh, Galaxy Defender or no, something. No. You know the space one? Uh huh. Not, that's probably not what it's actually called, but something like that. The other one. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm scared. Damn it. There we go. Really, the thing uh, with Toa lore is uh, the mythology itself ends up being more interesting than the like the uh, settings and stories that the like games have. Why don't they make a McDonald's game? So they can use all the McDonald's characters. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> like Mayor McCheese and that that Moon Man. Mac who tonight. Isn't, yeah, Mac tonight isn't actually the Moon Man. I know. They they already had the Moon Man, <laughs> but he's a different person. Yeah, yeah. There's aliens oh and stuff and mm -hmm. grimace and how he might have been replaced with a good grimace or yeah. something. The grimace changed from four arms to two arms. And other mysterious things like that. Where has the <laughs> deepest lore? Oh my god! There, there's a there's a McDonald's wiki. Uh, anyone who hasn't seen it should check it out. It's up uh, all the characters you remember from seventies and eighties McDonald's. Yeah. But they used to have all kinds of funny characters. They got rid of them all. It's McDonald's mythology. Yeah. 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 For some reason, the uh, Moon guy was so popular from a. Uh, when McDonald's started opening up late. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, uh, people, uh, it's one of those things where people came up with their own name for him. He, he, the original commercial for him was called Mac Tonight. Like, like make it Mac Tonight or whatever. Yeah. For uh, eating at McDonald's late in the day. And uh, people just eventually started calling him Mac Tonight, I noticed. Wait, where am I going? They just kind of referred to him as Mac Tonight. Oh, yeah. Doesn't make any sense, but... <laughs> See, there... This is a little bit. There are a little, few rough corners here. Like they, without this arrow, I I wouldn't know to go this direction. Mm. Not at all. I prefer Makes to no put. Uh, oh. If I have to there have arrows, I prefer it to have uh, collectibles in that area so that you go there. Yeah. Sonic does that with rings. When they want you to go somewhere, they just put rings there. Yeah, it's but a really in this case, intuitive way to make you go somewhere. Yeah. In this case, they had me going up. 
I've been going right this whole time, but now they suddenly just want me to go left. That would be hard to communicate in any case. Unless they put a wall, wall there, which they didn't for some reason. It probably loops back to uh, a place I've been to before. And... Reminds me of that weird Kirby game, the GBA. It's like a linear, what? you know. Uh, oh yeah, uh -huh. it's linear, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. Like so, you just there's one it's place linear. to go, obviously, uh -huh. but it's not set up linearly. So it's you just li kind of walk around. It's linear, but you're going from place to place, yeah. like one after the other. There's no choices or anything. That was weird. That was the one with the. Uh, the Smash Brothers, um, uh, like, ability. Did you get that? What, what, what? There was a Smash Brothers ability. Where? In, uh, in, um, The Amazing Mirror. Oh, okay. It, uh... What was it? Exactly. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, uh, if you pressed... If you pressed down in A, you'd use Rock. If you press forward and A, you'd use the hammer. Stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose, eh? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, the mini boss that gives you it was uh, Master Hand. Mm. Oh, here's the boss. See, isn't this a funny joke? That makes yeah. so much sense. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Some strange kind of diffuse lighting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Don't know how. Oh, don't do that. What's that garbage? Never fought this boss before. Oh, man. Looks like you need projectiles. You're getting hurt an awful lot just touching your magnet. Yeah, I guess so. See, I don't know. That's just bullshit. Little things like that. Rough around the edges. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, crap. Ah, oh please. my god, you just got a lot of health shaved off there. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to dash, forgot the button, that exact moment. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not fair. Now, let's let's exit. Anyway, uh, this is, uh, what is it, Taco Man? Yeah. Kazatsu World? Not about a Taco Man at all. And we are in Kazatsu World. Mm -hmm. Not anymore, though. No. Let's look at the gallery. Is there anything in there? Oh yeah, CG room. Uh, there's a couple cutscenes, like start at the end. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, it's a fine game. There's Check some out. things you can unlock. This is Space Engine. It's a free downloadable space exploration simulator. I highly recommend it to anyone that's interested in actually looking at planets up close in 3D. It uses star catalogs and other scientifically documented information about space that's close to us to generate a realistic 3D map of what the known universe looks like. And also when you go beyond it, it becomes procedurally generated. So it's fun forever. Uh, it's completely free like you can see here I'm looking at Saturn and you can look at the info for all these planets too 
Yeah, here you can see I'm flying a spaceship that you can mod into the game yourself. Uh, there's all kinds of people doing uh, free 3D models of spaceships for this game that you can mod in and you can fly around in uh, known space and also procedurally generated new space. Be careful, you can really easily break your ship too. And we just flew past the rings of Saturn. And you can also press space to pause time. You can also look up your own star catalog by uh, typing in the distance you want to scan for stars, by how many light years you want to look. Be careful if you put in 9,999 light years, it could take a while, it could crash the game. Here we are observing the motion blur on the stars and also looking at the lighting on our spaceship. There's the sun. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate what the hyperdrive looks like. It, uh, it's a visual simulation of what faster than light travel would look like according to this game. Uh, we're flying a faster than light ship. You can see the bending of light and space around the exterior of the craft. Oh my god, uh, kind of kaleidoscopic psychedelic view we're getting here. Whoa. Oh my god, what's happening? Uh-oh, I think we're passing by some planets. Or something. Something's happening. Uh oh, oh man, we got some flashes of blue. Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay, something's, something's wrong. We're upside down. Uh, I'm sorry. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh god. We've gone too far in a few places. And something's happening to the sky. Uh, where the hell are we? Yeah. I think we're stuck. Is this Saturn? Well... We're gonna have to destroy that ship. Okay, we're starting fresh. You can also uh, look at black holes in Space Engine. They're uh, fully simulated in real time. Uh, according to this game, uh, there is a black hole at the center of our galaxy. So what I'm doing here is I'm focusing on the Milky Way itself and then traveling to the direct center. And the, uh oh, there we are. The gaping maw. You can see how it's bending the starlight behind it. Be careful. I think it's a little bit too late for us. But it's not too late for this fella. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid there's no saving this guy. He's uh, he's a lost cause. Get out of there! What are you doing there? You're not supposed to be here. Well, let's all wish him luck. Space engine. Completely free. Check it out.